What's good everybody? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video I'm covering a quick Q&A that came in. Which side of the carpet padding goes up when you do your install? It's actually a great question because on a lot of our reinstalls we come across this where a DIY type did the padding install. They actually did it the wrong side up and then when we have to redo it we definitely change out the padding because it creates some minor issues. Now if you do the padding install the wrong way it's not the end of the world. You could still get the result but it's not gonna be the best result. So, for example, I have two different kinds of 7 16 eight pound pad here. The first one is your rebound pad, most common sold in uh, the big box stores and things like the Home, Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that, places where a DIY person would get their materials. Now, this here is the wrong side. There's no netting on it. Kinda of hard to tell in this video, but zero netting. This side with the netting on it is the right side. So, I'll give you an example of this. You see the netting that I'm pulling off? You want that to be on the top and then your carpet to go over top of that. The reason is it actually helps the carpet slide better when you're doing the install so you'll get a better stretch on it, get it tighter, and you won't have to worry about bubbles coming up as often. Now the other type of 7 16 eight pound pad, same exact thing, but it has a spill block barrier with a couple of goodies into it, some antimicrobials, to kill any funk that might get in it. Now, some people think you put the moisture barrier side down to go ahead and prevent moisture from going up under your slab and into the uh, carpet. That's actually wrong there. You want it on top, and the spill barrier is actually geared more towards pet accidents, spills from the top down, so that when you clean the carpet, you can extract it and it doesn't soak into the padding. Now, if you have a leaky basement and things like that, you do not want to install a pad like this because the water will actually get trapped in here and just it'll sit, get funky, even though it's treated, that much time sitting in moisture is always bad. So, if you have a leaky basement, we could have a whole nother video on that and how to do your flooring installs for that. But, quick tip of the day, if you have a moisture barrier padding, slick side up. If you have a rebound pad with a netting on it, that side goes up as well, and then you do your install on top of it. So, comment below, ask any questions about the carpet industry, I'll create a video just for you answering that. Be sure to subscribe, the, the, the. Be sure to subscribe, reach out with any questions, and I'll catch you on the next video. Freestyled as always.